Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Today's video is on Install and configure an Ansible control node. And the specific section is Install required packages. So this one's going to be a fairly brief one. We're just going to uh, talk about the package you need to install for an Ansible control node which is essentially the server that Ansible runs on or yeah people normally could just call it the Ansible server yep so we just literally have to install the the relevant Ansible package and we'll complete this particular requirement so just for a bit of background for a control uh, control node um, a control node needs to have um, Python 2 um, version 2.7 or Python 3 um, versions 3.5 and higher um, and also they're going to start moving to higher versions of Python 3.8 and whatnot um, but yep yeah, currently it's uh, it's at those particular versions and also with con uh, control nodes you um, you ideally try and place them close as close to systems as possible so if you're ever going over like um, uh, WAN links and stuff like that it's probably better to have another uh, Ansible server uh, in that local environment that executes the commands and perhaps you can then SSH to that control node to then do the remote control rather than um, having uh, a load of Ansible scripts trying to execute over the WAN link where you've got lots of delays and the Ansible scripts may not work quite as well as they you'd expect so it's just something to be aware of normally try and push the um, Ansible um, servers as close to um, the end system as possible um, obviously Ansible has to be able to make um, connection over SSH so you need to be have an SSH server on it and also SFTP um, you can also switch to um, SCP if, if SFTP is not available so they're actually so just go to the install so there's actually two versions of Ansible available uh, so we'll just do a sudo bash to prevent me from sudoing constantly um, so there is actually uh, so we do uh, just do dnf search and search for ansible you can see with this particular version um, so there is actually two versions there's uh, ansible and ansible um, hyphen core uh, the one that's shipped with uh, what's available within um, red hat is uh, quite clearly just Ansible, which this is uh, what they call the community package, um, and it basically has um, a bit more uh, details, it's got uh, more uh, documentation and whatnot. Whereas the Ansible core is just a very minimalist version, um, but yeah, basically the the general people you just generally use the Ansible uh, script itself. So. Um, to install Ansible, it is as literally as easy as dnf install, and there's a number of packages required. Um, so there's Ansible itself. Uh, there's a library which is like Libsobium, SSH pass, obviously for SSH. Um, we've got various different um, Python um, libraries. So we've got Ginger two, um, Python ACL. We've got a few uh, markup sort of stuff as well um, so you can see all that's going to install as part of this um, see so most some of those if you know there is coming from the repository EPEL um, as you can see it may not be available in the default registry so what we can do is if you don't have the EPL there is the official way from Ansible which is the Ansible engine repository so if we go okay so if you do out of the box with a Red Hat server and try to do an install of Ansible, uh, DNF install Ansible, you're going to find that that won't install uh, because there's no, uh, it's not in any of the repositories for uh, Red Hat. So, what we'd have to do is actually go and get it. So, there is actually an Ansible install guide. Um, so, this is actually on the Ac uh, Ansible documentation portal, which is literally docs.ansible.com. Uh, on, the, on the right hand side, we've got installing Ansible. And if you go down to the section, it says installing Ansible on RHEL, um, CentOS, or Fedora, which is us. Obviously, there's other um, other available. Um, you need to get the RPMs for the Ansible engine repository. So if you go 
and grab that. So there's a, a Red Hat page. We'll need to just log into this. Okay, so on this guide, we need to, uh, it looks like we need to add an additional um, Ansible module. Okay, so we need to add an additional subscription. So we need, if using the, okay, so we know we don't have a Red Hat Ansible engine subscription, so this one wouldn't be um, available to us. But if you did have that, then you'd actually attach the, the relevant subscription pool ID, and then you'd re register it and you'd be able to install it from there. Um, there is also the um, option of using this. Uh, this is the limited support version. Um, so this is what we're going to use here. So we can do subscription manager refresh and then we need to install, enable this. Oh, this is for version, as well version for Red Hat RPMs. Okay. So we're going to have to look up the version here, which is good. <laughs> so this looks like it's going to be fun. Okay. So we'll do a uh, refresh. So it looks like they expect you to do some of the work. It's not quite a straightforward one. So just do a subscription manager here, refresh. So the data has been refreshed, cool. So now let's try and find um, the repos. We we'll do a subscription manager repos, which will list out all of them. Let's just do a grep for Ansible. Let's see what we get. It'll take a few seconds to run. This is because it doesn't really matter what version of Ansible is actually out there. It actually matters what version is supported for Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So we'd have to go with whatever, whichever they support basically. Um, okay, so we have uh, a number of repos here. So we've got 2.8, 2.9 looks pretty good. Um, OS, that's x86 distribution. CDN Red Hat looks quite good. Uh, Ansible 2.9, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so that will be the one version. That looks like the latest version of the list, and that's the repo repo ID. So if we go back to the original command, so subscription manager repos, and then hyphen hyphen enable, and then Ansible da 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 version for Red Hat, basically that one. Okay, so we do hyphen hyphen enable and then paste just make sure it looks good yep and then we wait so we've got a nice message to say the repository has been enabled uh, we shall see now uh, when we do a dnf install ansible whether this actually returns the relevant ansible version oops So now we can just run DNF install Ansible, and that should be a lot. So let's pull that that repository, which is a good sign, and we've got Ansible, which is great. And you can see it's all coming from Red Hat repositories, uh, so it looks all good there. There is a um, there is also the packages available on EPEL, but obviously if you're um, using a Red Hat solution, um, you and you probably want don't want to stray from uh, the Red Hat supported packages, then this is the best way forward to use something that's obviously Red Hat supported and uh, then you won't have any issues should anything go awry later on. But yeah, as I mentioned earlier, if you have the um, fully supported version of Ansible um, and the obviously your extended version of a Red Hat, then you've got, um, you have to attach the Pacific pool ID in your license. Uh, that's all listed out there then. And then that will give you the access to the relevant version of Ansible as part of that. So Ansible is installed. So it's obviously 2.9, the version. Okay, let's get the version. So Ansible hyphen hyphen version. Yep, so it's Ansible's installed nicely. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to do. Um, so it's pretty, pretty straightforward. There's a few steps there, um, obviously. It's important sometimes with the documentation is to, to read through it. Um, in this case, it's a fairly laborious task. We had to enable the Pacific repo. Uh, oh, it looks like it. they had a very updated version here, which is quite nice. It's already there, but 
I, to be honest, I never expected it to be correct, this sort of stuff, but obviously they're keeping it up to date. Um, so I could have just literally pasted that command in and saved myself uh, two minutes of work. But anyway, um, so we can go we can go there and obviously the details there as well um, to do the exactly the same thing. And yeah, this is the one I mentioned with the license. If you've got the Ansible Engine subscription, you need to follow some additional steps to give you the... Um, to give you the right versions etc cool i think that's all i have for you today um thanks again for watching as always um if you enjoyed this video uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe thank you so that concludes the video as as always i've um, popped on the screen now my ko-fi page um that's a great place to um donate if that's something you're interested in um to help support the this channel also, I've put um, the T Public page for any merchandise uh, I've got. So I've got a few T-shirts and stuff like that. If that's anything you're interested in, and uh, finally, I've put my uh, Discord server details, um, as well as in description for these things, um, details so you can uh, chat there. Uh, I'll try and answer questions when I've got a spare few minutes, and uh, try and help you out where I can. Thank you.